Well, you're joining me today under conditions that anyone would describe as tough. I guess you'd call these classic post-frontal conditions. I've got winds that are blowing strong out of the north-northwest, and there's really not a cloud in the sky. Now, I'm out looking for big crappies today, and these tough post-frontal conditions have caused all the quality fish to bunch up super tight on mid-depth structure. Now, finding where those fish are holding with help from mega side imaging really hasn't been a problem at all. The issue has been that those fish don't seem to want to stray one bit from the structure that they're holding on. And on a day like today, when the conditions are really tough, pinpoint cast placement is really the key to triggering these neutral to negative fish into striking. Now, I'm fishing today in 13 feet of water. I've got my boat spot locked upwind of my casting target, which is just a small isolated piece of woody cover here in an old river channel in this small reservoir. Now while I'm spot locked, I'm using Mega 360 imaging to provide me with real time information about the location of that piece of woody cover. Now I'm using the Mega 360 imaging device with the universal mount which means that I need to manually deploy the 360 imaging pod every time that I want to use it. Now, because this mega 360 imaging device is not permanently attached to the boat, I have to pay particular attention to the direction the 360 imaging device is pointing every time that I deploy it. So let me share a couple of really easy to use tips that will ensure that your mega 360 imaging device has the perfect orientation in the water every time. If you look on the top of the Mega360 Imaging Transducer housing, you'll see a teardrop-shaped fitting with a blunt or rounded end, as well as a more pointed end. Now that blunt or rounded end needs to face forward, and the entire teardrop shape needs to be parallel with the long axis of the boat. Now to make sure the 360 Imaging Pod is always facing the same direction every time I deploy it, I've taken a Sharpie and drawn a vertical black line that goes across the top and bottom halves of the aluminum Geiger Tech mount base. Now, when I put the 360 imaging device into the water, getting the right orientation is as simple as matching up the top and bottom halves of this vertical black line. Now to really fine tune the orientation of that 360 imaging pod in the water, and make sure that that teardrop shape is exactly parallel with the long axis of the boat, I lower the imaging pod into the water maybe a foot or so, and then go to my 360 imaging view and find the sonar returns for my trolling motor and my outboard. Now I have my Mega 360 imaging device mounted on the front half of my boat on the starboard side, and the bright white sonar returns for my trolling motor and my outboard's lower unit are really easy to spot. Now those two bright white sonar returns will of course form a line, and that line will be vertical on your 360 imaging view when the teardrop shape on your transducer housing is exactly parallel with the boat. Now if that line connecting your trolling motor and lower unit sonar returns isn't vertical on your 360 imaging view, then a quick adjustment on your Geiger Tech mount will help you get the perfect orientation. All you need to do is loosen the knob at the far end of the Geiger Tech mount and then Give the 360 imaging pod a slight rotation, one direction or the other, to make that teardrop shape on top of the transducer housing line up perfectly with the long axis of the boat. When you're done, that imaginary line connecting your trolling motor and lower unit sonar returns will be perfectly vertical on your 360 imaging view. Tighten that knob back up and get back to fishing. You know, optimizing your transducer orientation with Mega 360 imaging is easy to do and is a key component of making better casts and catching more fish. Give these tips a try on your next trip.